wanted to do with fundraising is to inspire a million kids to get involved, a million kids to make a difference in the world. That's my goal. And it's all about letting youth know about what's going on in the world, in schools, across Canada, around the world. One thing that we can use to make a difference is action. And being world leaders, we have responsibilities. And instead of getting started then, why not get started now? I want to hear you all say it. So when do we take action? Now! Absolutely. a singing group of orphans who actually raises funds and asks for donations when they sing um, and all the proceeds go towards their education and what they need at the time so we decided to bring them to the lodge. We have here today Steve's traditional dance group and they're going to show us a few traditional dances and all the donations go towards their education, basically their quality of life and improving it. <laughs> to everyone. They were all amazed at how amazing these dancers were. Um, they were very, very talented. I really believe that Steve, this guy who's given up his whole life just to help his children, is really passionate about what he does. This is a great, wonderful present. Thank you very much. And God bless you. like he's well. These children are really dying and rapidly. It was frustrating. Every single time you came onto the ward, there was another child dying. These kids that have absolutely nothing, whose parents have died or are dying from HIV and AIDS, still go on with their life. It really shows me how much we have and how much we need to appreciate life. Usually children your age um, are the ones we have to help. Mm. So it's a completely different scenario now that there is a, a child that actually takes action. Which for here, I think for Africa, we can all say that this is a very, very un unusual thing. I think my biggest challenge is others not taking me seriously because I'm a 12 year old kid. And that not only is that my biggest challenge, but it's my biggest pet peeve. That others have the limiting belief that because you're too young or too old, you can't do anything, that you're not powerful enough to make a difference in the world. And it's all about getting the stigma, if you want to call it, that young people can't do anything out of people's minds. This trip to South Africa was to meet Nelson Mandela. And I was invited to meet him because I'd sent him a birthday card with my book and thanking him for all the great work he's done. And he asked me to come visit him. I asked too many questions, I think. But I really took away from the meeting was that you really need to work as a group, to work as a team, to be able to make a difference. One person can make a difference, but a group of people can change the world. It's been a great trip here. I've been able to do so much. I've been able to see so much. Getting involved, getting to see what South Africa is about, how much we need to help, um, and speaking to kids once again about empowerment. I hope to speak internationally about how we can make a difference and how we can stop destroying what really is beautiful on this earth.